Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Happy Movie Monday. It's been a while since I've seen you guys, but I've been really busy doing some family things, which is awesome, but now it's time to get back to business. Uh, celebration is getting ready to end in the next couple weeks. March 31st is our last day, and I wanted to share this card with you today that we made. I found this on Pinterest, and I just love the white on white tone and the basket weave, so I want to share that with you. We are going to be using the Blossoming Basket stamp set. So this is a bundle that is now available as part of your celebration offerings. You get the stamp set and you also get the basket weave embossing folder. This is a dy dynamic impressions folder, which means that when you use it, you almost get a 3D feel to it. And um, we do have, like I said, March 31st is the ending of celebration. We have a couple more offerings out now. We have Eclectic Expressions stamp set for $50. We have the Springtime Foils, which if you guys have not seen this in person, this picture, not justice. It is gorgeous. And I'm going to be doing a Movie Monday on that shortly. And then, of course, that's a $50. And then, of course, with your $100 purchase, you can get the Blossoming Basket um, bundle. And it, we're continuing with the others as well. So if there's still someone that were the original offering, uh, you still have time to get them March 31st. Uh, we still have 50 and $100 offerings. And just the other day, we came out with a third wave, which is here. Um, all of this information can be found on my Facebook page, which is Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. You can go on there and see this, or you can contact me and I can send the information to you, Jody Breckbill322 at gmail.com. Um, this is these are some items that are still current, but in case you have kind of gotten everything that you wanted or everything that you needed from celebration, we're offering some more items for you. Um, I, this is an old flyer. This picture is incorrect. We're offering the sparkle glimmer paper the green and the blue and the um, clear glimmer paper stack is going to be a freebie with your $50 purchase, a couple um, framelits here with a $100 purchase. So all of this is happening until the end of celebration, which is March 31st. So let's get stamping. One thing that I did, I'm hoping I have everything here. It's been so long since I've made a movie. I feel like I'm out of the loop. This is the embossing folder. Okay. Is that not gorgeous or what? So that's a whisper white piece. I went ahead and ran the folder through the big shot. Then I'm going to take a piece of shimmery white and I'm going to stamp our images in the archival black. Love using the archival black for this because um, <clears throat> we're going to watercolor with our blender pens. I'm going to shake the table a little bit here. I apologize for that. So we're going to use our blender pens and we don't want that ink to bleed. So I'm actually, I think what I'm going to do first is stamp. I can come down a little bit. I'm trying to get my view just right. I'm going to stamp my sentiment here first, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my basket just so I know my placement. So I'm going to stamp that. Now, let's see how that looks. Hopefully it's coming out okay. My inks are getting a little, little dry. And then we're going to just do that cutie little tag here, just hanging off the basket. So all of that in archival black. Then we're just going to take some blender pens and we're going to color. So I used uh, Wild Wasabi. Now I want to make sure I, I didn't... Yep. So what you're going to do, I don't know if you caught that. Okay, let me let me go backwards. So we're going to take our ink pad and we're going to squeeze. So the top of the ink pad and the bottom of the pad are meeting. And what happens is it creates a nice little pool of ink right there in the lid for you. And that's what I work off of. I just kind of pick up that ink right there. I have a little bit more control with my color then so that it's not so light and so so dark. If I'm If I'm pulling right off the ink pad, you're kind of getting a very concentrated... Um, ink. And so this way you can kind of pull lighter in the middle would be darker. And we're just going to color in those leaves with wild wasabi. So the same thing is, um, let's see, melon mambo, same exact thing. I'm going to squish it a little bit and then you just pick up some color and you're just going to color in those I guess these are roses maybe. I don't know. There's some sort of flower. Peony? I, I have no idea. I just know they're flowers, so you're just going to color those in, okay? And then to clean, 
you just kind of swipe here on your scrap paper until it runs clear. Now you'll notice that the tip is a little bit stained. That's just absolutely fine. They still work well. I did take a Daffodil Delight marker and I'm going to color in the center of the flowers. Um, you could definitely use a blender pen and the ink pads, but that just seems to be a little bit quicker. Now, I'm kind of moving along because I, I have one that's finished by magic. I'm going to take my crumb cake, that's my third color, well technically my fourth color if we include the black, and this time I used an aqua painter. Okay, so the aqua painter is a little different because I want more coverage on this basket and it'll do a bigger area. So I just pulled a little bit of ink there and I'm going to color with the aqua painter. And then you can go back in and add it to be darker. You know, can always add ink to be darker. You can add ink to be lighter. So I'm just kind of doing a wash over this basket to start with. And then I can go back in, same way to clean, just kind of swipe it like that on your, on your scrap paper and you're good to go. So our finished project, let me find it here. Okay, so that's what it'll look like whenever it's finished. Okay, and then that's just beautiful with that little bit of shimmery, uh, shimmery white. So I'm going to attach that to a piece of crumb cake. Um, I'll make sure you guys, this is my uh-oh apparently. Oh yeah, I forgot my sentiment on there. So two sides to every piece, right? So we're not going to waste it. We're just going to use the other side. So I'm just going to attach that to a piece of crumb cake. Again, I'll put the dimensions in the comments when I'm actually editing this video so that you guys will know exactly how to make it. This is a piece, the card base I used is our ultra thick white cardstock. So I just cut a piece of that. I like that it's a nice heavy base for this. Now with this one, this is the opposite side of the basket weave, which looks pretty cool as well. But because it's kind of up and downy a little bit. I like to make sure that I have a lot of snail adhesive on. So I don't, I am not sparing on this one because it kind of wants to pull off a little bit. So I put a good bit of adhesive on there because I don't want that to come off when I go to give this to my friends. I'm gonna attach that, oh, did I get crooked? Attach that right to the front. And then I attach this piece. I did use Stampin' Dimensionals when I did my card, so it has a little bit of dimension. I don't have those on my table yet, but you get the gist. Um, our final step is gonna take the Organza ribbon. This is from the Occasions catalog. We're just gonna tie a bow. So um, I've showed this before, but just in case you're new and watching, when I do bows, I only do the bunny ears, okay? I don't do the part like you're gonna tie your shoe where you make that knot. I just do a bunny ear and I hold that and then I wrap the other piece around and make my bunny ear like that. And then you can kind of adjust your bow to be as big or as small as you need it to be. So I see what else I'm missing on my table as well is, oh no, I do have them. I just used a little glue dot to attach that and I like to just put that little bow right on top of the glue dot peel that off stick it right onto my project and there you go you can then trim those little edges to to um, fit so and there's the finished card that you would have using the blossoming basket stamp set so again Celebration is ending March 31st. So you have a little bit of time to get your orders in. The other thing that is happening until March 31st is our starter kit is on sale. And that is actually your very, very best value if you are interested in getting a lot of items. Uh, so I've been sharing that a lot lately, lately because the starter kit is only $99 and it gives you $125 worth of product of anything you choose anything you want. It is totally customizable, which is awesome. If you wanted all stamp sets, get all stamp sets. If you just wanted to stock up on paper, you could stock up on all kinds of cardstock and designer paper. You can get anything you want, $125 worth for only $99. And during celebration, you get two free stamp sets. So 
get the big ones, right? There's like $40, $50 stamp sets that we have that you could totally get for free. So your value could be well over $200 depending on the stamp set that you choose. So I like to share that because that is your very, very best value. The great thing is there is no commitment at all. So there's no commitment for me as a demonstrator, as your, as your upline. There's no commitment from Stampin' Up! So we're not going to say you have to be in the company for X many months and you have to sell this much and you have to do this many parties. Nothing like that. So the only thing we have is a quarterly minimum, which is $300 every calendar quarter. And if you don't meet that, you have a month to try and make it up. After that, they will drop you and you are no longer a demonstrator, but you get to keep all your stuff. The police don't come and take it away. So anyway, that's just a little blurb on uh, signing up as the starter kit, which again is your very best value. So if you have any questions about that, definitely contact me. We could talk a little bit more about that because I love seeing people get things for free. It's the best feeling in the world. So thank you so much for joining me, you guys. And I will see you next week for Movie Monday.